Towards the end of 2021, Microsoft released Windows 11, thus turning it up to 11. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. Okay, maybe that joke's a little played out, but they did release Windows 11. Windows 10 is now old news, so should you upgrade to Windows 11? We actually got asked this question by Ronald James. Is Windows 11 good enough to install now or wait? Well, I've used Windows 11 on one computer. I've used it on my Alder Lake test bench because you basically have to. If you're building a 12th generation Intel Alder Lake system, i5 12600K, 12700K, 12900K, or next year in 2022, depending upon you when you're watching this, one of the non-K chips, or really next year when you're maybe building a Raptor right. Lake or a Zen 4 on AM5 system, you need Windows 11. And the reason you need Windows 11 is because those systems are not fully supported on Windows 10. They will work. You can install Windows 10 on all the lake, but the, the scheduler for the big little cores and some of the other features they have rudimentary support of Windows 10. If you're building a next generation system, you need a next generation operating system. On the other hand, if you're running any of the AMD chips at this point, which is Zen 3 or older, if you're running uh, Comet Lake, Coffee Lake Refresh, or anything from Intel that isn't Alder Lake as of the time of recording this, Windows 10 is just fine. And in fact, when I build my new Ryzen 9 5950X, it will get Windows 10 on it, not Windows 11, even though it's a new build, post Windows 11, because to be completely blunt, Windows 11 doesn't add anything you need. It just moves everything around. It changes the look of the start menu. It changes the look of the task manager. It changes the look of the, the task bar. It just changes things, to be honest, kind of just to sort of move them around so you can go, oh, this is different. Oh, it's new. Yay. It's kind of like when you go into the grocery store and they've moved everything because they're having a grand reopening. It's like, you've just wrecked my damn store. Now I can't find anything. Kroger, looking at you, who yeah, huh? recently did that. They, they switched the whole store around. Yep. They moved everything. everything. Well, they expanded some stuff. And it was like, but they created a whole new aisle. And it was like... But there's stuff in completely different places yeah, now. There is. For so, what? Yeah, don't do that. No. So Windows 11 works, but... There's a time and a place for it. In a year, in two years, there will be features that will come to Windows 11 that you're going to want. There's nothing on it now at the end of 2021 or the beginning of 2022 that you need. They're, for, they're for, really, for current builds. For current builds. Again, all to like, yeah, Windows 11. If I was building it all, it's one of the reasons why, even though I have multiple Alder Lake chips. I actually have two i9-12900Ks now. I am not building a 12900K for my personal use. Well, if you do, everything else is on 10 and then you're going back and forth and it, at some, some point it's, no, I don't want to do that. Either all your machines need to be on 11 or all on 10 because, I mean, I sit down in front of the Alder Lake test bench and go, oh, this, where is, okay. It's, no, it's not the end of the world. Yes, I can figure it out. I'm not an idiot, but Sometimes your brain is up for that, and sometimes it's just not. What does Windows 11 add the Windows 10 doesn't have, besides Alder Lake support? Nothing. There's nothing in it that matters right now. Eventually, that will change. Just like when Windows 10 came out and you were on Windows 7, you were fine. You didn't have to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 when it first launched. You could, but you didn't have to. Today, you have to. Windows 7 is no longer supported. Windows 7 doesn't get updates. There, there are legitimate reasons today not to be on 7 anymore. Just like in two or three years, there will be legitimate reasons to all leave 10. Well, at some point, support will end. And... 2025. Correct. But I wouldn't wait till 2025. No. Well, you're probably going to need a new PC by then anyway. Either one year or two years. Either the fall of 2022 or the fall of 2023 is where I think most people should probably go ahead and make that migration. Yeah, and then we'll have 
several iterations of updates, of support, drivers, and, programs, yeah, everything will be fine. It'll be much better. You have anything to add to this? No, and uh, we've answered this several times. Do we need Windows 11? If if it's new, yes. If it's current, stay on Windows 10. And actually, there is another super chat just down here saying, should I switch back to Windows 10 because my games on Windows 11 keep crashing? So... Why'd you go to 11? I probably wanted to. Let's see. Uh, right here. Should I go back to Windows 10? Nothing but issues with gaming in Windows 11. Crashes, freezes, blue screens. 5800 Okay, X. if you're having crashes, freezes, and blue screens in 11, you need to clean install the Windows. And this is always the risk of doing an upgrade is if you did a clean install, uh, nine, probably... 99 times out of 100, it's going to work perfectly. You don't want to do a clean install, but that's probably what's going to just... Windows is stable. Windows 10 is stable. Windows 11 is stable. If it's not stable on your hardware, you either have a corrupted install of Windows or you have a hardware problem. One of those two. Windows is stable. The whole crashes, blue screens, and free frozen machines thing, that is so 10 years ago. Windows XP is gone. The early days of Vista and 7 are gone. How many computers do we have? A lot. Oh, gosh. We'd actually have to go around and count them. Yes. Knock on wood, when's the last time you ran into a computer that just... Actually, we do have a computer that has an issue. Your computer in that uh, room... Yeah, but that's not Windows. That's an SSD. That is a flaky SSD. Yeah, I got an SSD that, that just keeps chucking a Mickey and it's like... But that's not Windows' fault. No, that's a hardware problem. That's a hardware problem. Either Windows is corrupted, needs to be reinstalled, or you have a hardware problem. Windows is stable. So... There you go. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.